This is the book of Psalms 36 and 8 and 9. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see thy light. I won't say Baraka Ta Yahweh, Baraka Ta Yahweh Shah. Baraka Ta Yahweh, Baraka Ta Yahweh Shah. Baraka Ta Yahweh, Baraka Ta Yahweh Shah. By Hashem, Baka Kodash. Number one to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akers that's pushing. The truth is sincere. And um, and to the true and sincere, I come out there push on. We almost out of here, man. And uh this video gonna basically be covering um to, to forsake not the rivers of living waters, man. Alright, and this fountain or this river of living water, man, it makes sure that we we thirst not, man. Okay, and that thirst is somebody to uh uh being unknowledgeable, okay, unfruitful in the spirit, man. All right, because the water sprinkles your spirit, man, to allow you to be fruitful, to bring forth fruit, man. All right, you tell a tree by its fruits, all right? And what, what's the um, main ingredient a tree need to grow? Water, man. Okay, I'm going to read this again. And so um, Psalm 36 and 8, it says, They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. And thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. As many pleasures <clears throat> that lie with the Lord when you do this, uh, when you drink of this righteous water, of this um fruitful fountain of the most high, man. Okay. Alright. It's pleasures that come with them. It's things that's pleasurable to the Lord, man. You can actually move the Father in spirit, man. Okay, David did it, man. Okay, David moved the Lord when he prayed to him, man. Alright. It says, for with thee is the fountain of life. All right. What is life? Life is everything in its entirety. And the entire life, life in its entirety was made up of waters. Okay. He made the waters out of the waters. Okay. <laughs> he hung the earth on nothing, man, which was the waters. All right. And if you could receive that, you'll get that, man. Okay. And thy light shall we see light. So out of this water comes light, man. All right, going back to Revelations 22 and 1. Matter of fact, I really want to save this towards the end. But, as a matter of fact, I am going to do that. All right. Well, that's the that's the gateway to the kingdom, man. All right, forsake and not this living water. Let me move on. So I can. This second address, 14 and 38. And it reads... And the next day, behold, a voice called me saying, Edris, open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink. Okay. Was this uh was this a bottle of water that the most I was giving him? Was Edris thirsty? Alright. So what it what it what it what was this that he was giving um Edris to drink, man? Alright? The same thing he that he gave Ezekiel and other prophets, man. It was this role. Alright? The word is likened unto water, man. All right, it purifies your soul, man, to bring forth uh righteous and abundant uh bring forth righteousness abundantly and to speak the word uh of the Lord, man. All right, and truth and sincerity. It says, Then I opened my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full as it were with water, but the color of it was like fire. <laughs> Okay, because this word is sweet going in, and what? It's uh, bitter uh, once it hit the belly, man. All right? Like I think it says in James, it says, can a phone bring forth sweet and salt water? Right? But the most high, this word, it does bring forth that, man. All right? It's bitter and sweet. It says, and I took it and drank, and when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding. So how can Edris get understanding of some water that was symbolically water, but the color of it was like fire? All right. So what was this representing? This was representing the scriptures, the scrolls, man. All right. Wisdom and understanding that it's going to get to. It says, <clears throat> and wisdom grew in my breast for my spirit strengthened my memory, man. 
All right? So through the spirit, the washing of the word is strengthening his memory, man, which is his pineal gland. It opened his third eye up, man. Okay? It says the highest gave understanding unto five men, and they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that were told which they knew not. And they sat 40 days, and they wrote in the day, and at the night they ate bread. As for me, I spake in a day, I held not my tongue by night. And 40 days they wrote 204 books. And it became the pass when the 40 days were fulfilled that the highest spake saying, The first that thou hast written, publish openly, that the worthy and the unworthy may read. All right? So this, this is the word, the most high, basically telling Edwards, okay, public publish it openly okay meaning what to everybody that the worthy and the unworthy may read okay it says but keep the seven but keep the 70 last that thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise among the people all right so this found this fountain of life these rivers of water okay that flow by the trees of lebanon which goes back to um the children of israel man because there was the highest tree in the garden, pursuing back to um, Ezekiel, man. When it's um, that parabolic, uh, when it's parabolic speaking about Adam being that highest tree in the garden, man. Okay, and Israel is is set is a tree set by a river of water, man. Okay, and that water represents the word. It says, "But keep the seventy lads that may have delivered them only to such as be among the people." So. We all drink water, we intake water, right? But do that give us do that give us the um the knowledge to be uh good and evil? No, but this water gives you the knowledge of good and evil. Okay, to have your senses exercised to discern good and evil, man. So it's a difference. It says, for in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain of wisdom, and the stream of knowledge, man. You see that? Okay. So, them same uh, books that he uh, told him to publish openly, and them is the spring of understanding of found the wisdom and the stream of knowledge. Everybody don't have this water, man. Okay? All right? Some people getting drowned by the water. They getting choked, becoming unfruitful by the water. All right? When I say the water, I'm symbolically speaking to, to the word once again, man. Okay? Keep up. You know, this second address two, and uh, eighteen. It says, "For thy help, I will send my ser servants Isaiah and Jeremy, after whose counsel, I mean Isaiah and Jeremiah, and after whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for thee twelve trees laden with diverse fruits." Okay, trees, waters, trees and water is symbolic to wisdom and knowledge, man, and understanding, okay? And as many fountains flowing with milk and honey, all right? That fountain, that spring of, of uh, understanding. And seven mighty mountains, whereupon they grow roses and lilies, whereby we fill thy children with joy, man, all right? So the joy is this word, all right? We have been, we have been, we have gotten a, a, a sense that we, I speak of the whole for elect, Lord, when I'm a part of that, we have got a, 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 a sense of rejoicing, all right, knowing that we have gotten the word. It has filled us with joy, man, okay? That joy of hope. And you got to get filled with this word by water. Did not y'all wish I tell Nicodemus that um he must... um uh. Salaka, John 3. Let me, let me just get it. 3 and 1 real quick. And he didn't understand that, man. And Nicodemus was um, a, a, a Pharisee, man, high up. All right? This John 3 and 1 it says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came by Yahweh Shah by night and said, Rabbi, we know not that thou art a teacher from God. For no man can do these miracles that 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 thou do except God be with him. And they said, Yahweh and Yahweh shall answer them and say, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. All right, so this went over his head. He thinking that 
Let me get to the point, dude. All right? I'm going to jump down to six. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Okay? Well, it's a lock, it fool. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? So he thinking he got to go back into his mother on his mother womb, which is the water. All right. That holds that fire that inside of a hose, fire and water, man. That's crazy. The most high puts fire inside of water and women, man. OK, so he think he got to go inside that water to get the understanding, man. But you got to be cleansed. By the washing of the word, going back to Ephesians, man. All right, this what waters, this what sprinkles you, man. All right, it's contingent upon your growth. All right, it's contingent upon your salvation. Okay, it's contingent upon your hope and your faith, man. This word, right? Salaki. What was that? All right, back in Edwards 2 and what, 18. Oh, in 19 no, so like I'm past that. Right, man. And this this water is for particulars, man. Right? They're not for this water is not for everybody. So like about that kind of got ruled off from where I was at. All right. This water not not for everybody, man. All right. There are men that's been that have been commissioned from the most high to receive this, man. Okay. This wisdom um Salaki. Song of Solomon. And this the proof. This Song of Solomon 4. And 12. It says, A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse. A spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Okay? This word is sealed. All right? The scriptures tell you that seal. Let me get it. Furthermore, prove that. Tell you the 16 real quick. Uh, let's prove that this, this word is sell, man. Okay. This Isaiah 8 and 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. The law is the what? The word. Okay. It says seal it amongst my disciples okay those that the law have ordained and chosen from the foundation of the world man okay it says a garden encloses my sister my spouse and that garden represents the word a spring shut up okay which are, are basically the the men of the lord starting with the elder apostles all the way down to the other elders of the camps all the way down to the younger brothers and a fountain sealed all right that spring that shut up is, is those men who the Lord have put on this earth, man, that people don't understand that they are the men of the Lord, man. All right? That's why they are shut up, man. Okay? Meaning what? Protected. All right? And only they, mo to most people, they're misunderstood, man. But unto those who the Father have watered that fruit to be the fruit of their tree, which is the fruit of Yahweh Shah, going back to the Most High, right? They have the understanding. That's why this word is a fountain sealed. All right. Though yet it be dispersed in the streets, only certain people can uh be watered by it and grow from it. Okay? Because you're supposed to be watered and planted by this, man. So you can flourish in the courts of the Lord. This uh Song of Solomon 4 and 15. A fount of gardens, a well of living waters, and streams of Lebanon. You see that? Thy plants are an orchard of pomegranates with pleasant fruits, campfire, and speakers. So in the house of the Lord are all his favorite uh, frankincense and myrrh, all right? Speakers and saffron, caramelous cinnamon with all trees of frankincense, myrrh, and aloes with all the chief spices, man, all right? Okay, so as a variety of men that the Most High have given different gifts and diverse gifts to, man, is a body, right, with all the spices, all right, different flavors of the Lord, man. Meaning what? All his different images, man. Okay, of him, man. All right, because the Most High is everything. He's omnipotent, omnipotent. He's everything, okay? Every different countenance you see 
out of a brother comes from the image of the most high, man. We're made in the image of the most high. All right. And we are all different. So locking. I read 16. It says, awake, O north wind, and come thou south. Blow upon my garden that the spices thereof may flow out of it, man. That you could get the fruit may come from this, from this word, man. It says, let my beloved come into his garden and eat his pleasant fruits. Meaning what? To eat this word, man. Okay? That his head lack no ointment, man. That he keep his garments. All right? That's what this is symbolic for, man. And without, and without this, you're going to perish, man. Clearly. Matter of fact, this is Jeremiah 17 and 13. It says, O Yahweh, the hope of Israel, the word of Israel, which was his son, Yahweh Shah. Okay? All that forsake thee shall be ashamed. So anybody who forsake Yahweh Shah, he's the word. He was the word. He was with, with Yahweh Shah from the beginning. His name is the word. Okay? His name means the word. Yahweh Shah was the word. And that they and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth. Meaning what? Shall die off, man. When you depart from this word, man, you, de you depart from growth, okay? From being fruitful, man. It says, because they are forsaken, Yahweh, the fountain of living waters, all right? There's no way to climb up in this thing, man, but through Yahweh and through his son, Yahweh Shah, man, all right? That's it. That's who we have given that fountain of, of, of youth and living water, man, to his son. This is a rock. 21 and 13. I know I'm jumping around arguing, but hey, with spirit, I kind of ain't really having it order like I would like, but it is what it is. This is Rock 21 and 13. It says, The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel is a pure fountain of life, man. All right? The words of a, wild, a, a, a wise man is life. All right? Starting with our chief elder apostles, man, all the way down, man. They have given us, given us life, man, through this water, all right, that we have been submerged in and baptized by, man, all right, all right? We done got that physical and that spiritual bapt baptism, man, from our elders, man, which came down from Yahweh Shah, man, which came ultimately from the Father, man, okay? Miss John 4 and 14. And it reads, this the account with the uh, the woman at the well too. It says, but whosoever drank it of the water, and I'm just getting straight to the point, that I shall, I shall give him shall never thirst, man. But the water that I shall give him shall be in, be him, be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And that, in that day, and that whosoever goes out to the remnant, man, all right, goes out to that remnant that he died for, man, all right? For we know who we worship, man, okay? We know who we worship. We know who the Most High, I mean, we know who Yahweh Shai came here to die for, man. We know those that was, that was given to him that was dying. We are of the Father, but he gave us to him for him to save us, man, all right? It says, I shall give him... Um, it says, but whoever drank it of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst because we drank water literally, but we get what thirsty again. All right. This is that, this is that, uh, this is that fountain of youth that we are never get thirsty again with, man. All right. Right here, man. This is what we drank, man. This is the water. It says, I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life, man. All right? And this well, and this well, and your well should never run dry, man. Okay? Meaning what? You should never stop uh, digging in, you know, in that, in that water well, man. All right? Keeping that water what? Springing up, man. All right? Don't become a, don't be, don't get in a desert-like state, man, where there dwells no water. All right? That means the word have forsaken you. And debt is imminent, all right? It's, it's ever-present around you. Let me get this and get out of here. This is Revelation 22. 
I just wanted to get this because this is the end all be all, man. All right. When you drink that water freely, Yahweh Shah, man. All right. This is the reward. All right. Okay. This is that. This is what's going to satisfy your thirst, man. This Revelation 21 and 1. It says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for Salaki. 22 and 1. It says, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, the everlasting life, clear and crystal, proceeding out of the throne of, Yah of, of our power and of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. This is that pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, man. This is it, man. All right. Which is, you know, symbolically speaking of the kingdom, you know. But I bought that one out last, man, because, uh, you know, this is this is the that that's the end game, man. You know, if you continually to drink this water and, and nourish, keep nourishment in your body, man. All right. You're going to receive that ultimate on um, that ultimate on um, prize, man. But with that, I, can, I hope it was edifying. And until the next time, I want to say shalom.